Hello and welcome back to Grassy Mitten. Today we got a hot one. It's May, near the end of May, 20th or so. And guess what time it is? It's time for that four letter word that nobody in lawn care likes. It's a nasty four letter word. It starts with a G. I think you know what I'm talking about. Grub. It's time to put down that grub, killer, preventative in your lawn. So it saves your lawn from disaster in the fall. Let's check out what I got today. Okay, this is what I got. The Spectricide Triazicide, Triazicide, uh, insect killer for lawns. Granular, kills on contact, season lawn control against ants. And also, the major insects that it, uh, it's going after is chinch bugs, ants, fleas, ticks, sodworm, mole crickets, and most of all, what I'm worried about is that nasty little thing right there, grubs. Kills insects above and below the ground. Safe for children once it's been watered in and dry. Children and pets. Very important to notice that. Uh, it covers 12,500 square feet, which is quite a bit, and at a rate of 0.8 per 1,000 square feet. So this bag goes a long way. Kills over 100 bugs plus and insects. Money back guarantee. This is what I got to fight the grubs this year. I mostly have an issue in my front yard, backyard not so much, so I'm just gonna put it down in the front yard and see how this does this year. All right, here's all the spreader settings. Uh, you can do a heavy dose, um, which is the 0.8 per thousand square feet, which I'm gonna probably do that. You can feed it up to six times in a year but no more than six times. So it says right here, do not apply more than six times per year at the lowest rate. So, and then three times at the next rate, so on and so forth. And always make sure you water this in. It's very important. Here's the spreader settings. I've got the ACE spreader, which is not on here. But I always go off the edge guard, which is two and a half. And for uh, my setting, it would probably be like a, a 10. So I'm gonna do a 10 on mine. That should be good. So let's get this down. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break and give you the life cycle of a grub. So you see in January, February, March, the grubs are deep in the soil. Not doing a whole lot, just waiting for the temperatures to get warmer. And that brings us to April and May. The grubs start going to the root system and they start feeding on your lawn. In June, they turn into the pupa stage. That's when they turn to the cocoon stage. In July, they hatch and turn into June bugs. That's when they're adults and they start laying eggs. Those eggs turn into grubs. So around August, September, they start feeding on the root system again. And then they go back down in October, November, and December. Uh, through January, February, March to wait for the temperatures to get warmer again and the cycle goes all over again. So this is why this is important to get this down now. And this is the life cycle of a grub. Okay, sorry about the writing on my <laughs> my uh, spreader. My nephew got a hold of a sharpie and had fun. Anyway, um, these pearls are very small. And it's very powdery, so on a windy day, this would not not be real good. Keep this away from the animals. So, so this should go down pretty heavy at a small rate.
right, so I had to make an adjustment, but that's all that's left. Um, I had it at 10 and it wasn't even coming out, so I changed it to 15 and I got a better, better flow out. So you may have to uh, play with the settings a little bit because what they recommended, it wasn't working on mine, so that's it. So I'm hoping that in September, when the grass comes out of dormancy, because it probably will go into it, that I won't have bare spots or dead spots in the grass. I'm trying to keep it, trying to keep it nice, nice as I can, without breaking the budget. And this is a good way to save your money. Just buying a little bag of this grub killer preventative and putting it on around this time of year because June bugs, I've already seen them. So they're out and they'll be laying their eggs, which turn into grubs. All right, that's all I got for today. Get you a bag of this or something else comparable to it. Grub killer, grub preventative, anything with grubs, preventing grubs. I recommend getting it and putting it down soon. You will appreciate it later in the fall when the grass comes back to life and you have the lawn left those little suckers they'll eat every root you have <laughs> i know i had the problem a couple years ago so put this down and that's that for today hope you liked the video give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one thanks